All right hi everyone this is Mr Shah and welcome to the video and in this video i would be teaching you about amazon web services in detail so in the last three videos we have covered how to set up an amazon cli on your mac os and we have learned about the dynamo db we learned how to push data we learned how to get data and this video would be an end we would be uh, doing a pythonic approach that is we will write classes this classes would be containing um, methods and attributes class variable static methods property methods this would be a little complicated would, would be a pythonic approach so uh, i do expect for this video uh, you should have a prior knowledge of what uh, Uh, about dynamo db how to do a very basic dynamo db upload and get the data so if you don't know about those stuff i would highly recommend you to go to my youtube channel and watch this uh, two videos on uh, python aws so that's the prerequisite up uh, so let's get started with the video without wasting much of time so the first thing that i need to do is first of all i'm going to go from right scratch i'm going to go to dynamo db here you can see dynamo db right i would be using the resource and client right both of them because uh, some stuff are better in resource and some in client the client is a low level api of uh, the boto3 l well the resource is a higher level api so right so let's get started so first of all we need to do is let me just make sure that we do we have a table uh, so we do have a table known as dht and um, we i think we have some values in it so here you can see we also made up a project guys uh, just to let you know we did a project uh, today morning on um, amazon web services how we made a very beautiful project where we were uploading sensor data from raspberry pi to amazon uh, web services through on the dynamo db so let's get started without wasting much of time so first of all what you need to do uh, you will be there on this screen you have to go to the dynamo db uh, dy so here you can see dynamo db so uh, i i will be going a little quick because this is a just a recap so the table name right so the table name would be sensor the key the primary key would be sensor id all right i uh, want to create that so this is how my table will look like i'm going to go to the items once the table is created and after that i'm going to quickly uh, hop on to my jupyter notebook so for coding so here you can see the the table is still being created on the web services so once it's created here you can see i i do not have any values so let's get started and write coding itself so the first thing that i need to do is basically i need to define a class this is an object oriented code so as i said the prerequisite is you should know the basics of uh, the boto3 so i'm going to say class my db going to say object define in it self i'm going to say pass right i'm going to have several methods right so the one of the method is property method i'm going to say define get right i'm going to just writing a blank skeleton right now um, i want a put method again it's a property method define after that after the put and get i want is basically a delete method to delete the uh, stuff uh, of course this has to be again a property method after this what i want is basically i want a method to describe the table all right so that's done so that is my basic skeleton right and now let's start filling the data inside so for this stuff uh, i'm going to create as i said i'm going to create uh, so first of all we need to accept the table name the default table name is sensor so i pass in as an in a constructor all right and similarly then i need to create a db object so i'm going to paste from my snippets 
so to speed up the video a little bit all right so essentially creating a db object both of th this is a resource object and this is a client object for low level i'll be using a client object for high level i'll be using the db object so just want to show you what it does right so this is the default constructor want to make sure to write a good code so spacing is very much important now we will define a get method the get method will get the data from the uh, from the amazon web services so hopefully this should make sense if you have watched my videos all right so here you can see i'm using a high level resources right now and it takes a key object and i'm passing in the sensor id and whatever the sensor id i want to get so if i say one so it will get, give me the first value and similarly second for second value and third for the third value so i can also pass this as a variable right here in this but for some reason i don't want to do that so let me avoid that so just want to show you right now so now we will define the put object so the put object will again uh, will be a higher level abstraction right so let me post paste this snippets all right so here you can see self dot table dot put items and this will be we need an item object we need the sensor id temperature and humidity these are the columns and the corresponding values so i need to pass uh, these values in the function all right so this is done similarly we need to define the delete object so in order to delete data So here you can see delete object and similarly describe. So for the describe, I'm going to use the client method and not the resource object because this is not available in the higher level API. So if I want to show you the entire class now for this program. So let me essentially copy my snippets quickly. Just give me one sec. I'm just copying my snippets. So this is the entire snippets, right? So essentially, want to make sure the table name is sensor, right? Uh, Boto three dot resource. So we're making a Dynamo DB object. Here you can see I'm defining the table, right? This is a so defining the table, defining the client object, right? We have a get method which will basically get the first value. So here you can also pass the sensor ID. So I can say something like, damn. Where am I? Oh, right here. Yeah, sometimes it's crazy. So I can also do this way. By default is one, you can change it. Right, so this should be fine. Similarly, the put method will put the object on the database on DynamoDB. The delete will delete the item, so just give the ID and you can delete it the describe will get the description about the table um, let's run this and see so here you can see all modules have been loaded successfully the class was proper now let's uh, run one by one each method so let's create an object of that class and the first thing that i'm gonna do is print the table so i will say obj dot and let's see if we uh, hit the tab to autocomplete but unfortunately that's not uh, uh, working out so i'm gonna type it manually describe table right and it takes no argument so hopefully this should work and get the values all right we have a small issue we have an error let's see what the error is an error occurred in the resource found uh, when calling the dis describe table operation required uh requested resource not found table dht okay we have a small issue a uh, very simple issue so the table name is sensor and not the dht so hopefully now this should work so here you can see we have a nice json data of the entire table description about the table now so here you can see now we are good with that no more errors so run the response so now we should have the values on the database hopefully so now if i refresh it so you can see 65 and 32 so the error was because i did not created it the object and i was running it so this is how you can put the values in the database now let's try to 
let's try uh, to um i think we have uh, tried everything we have learned about putting the data on the database we learned about getting the data on the database so this is essentially the object oriented code for dynamo db python so the code is also there in the description section below so make sure to check that out and um, in the next video we will start with the s3 bucket and ec2 instance thank you very much